Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python so let's get started so guys in today's video we'll be creating moderation commands such as ban unban clear chats and kick so let's try get into it So guys what I have done is I have just created one more file in my cogs folder which is moderation.py and I have written uh, this is the common stuff which is to be returned in, in every cogs file. So I have just copied everything from here just accept these commands and I have just renamed my class as moderation. Now let's let's start with creating our commands. So first of all our first command will be commands.command. And let's create one ban command. So the aliases for this command will be ban. So I'll just keep the aliases as B. And we'll set some requirements for this command. Like uh, the user who is using this command should have some permissions. So I'll just say has permissions. And we can just uh, say ban members is equal to true. So the user should have these permissions else he she cannot use the commands. Now I'll just uh, define my ban command. I'll just say sync dev ban. I'll just pass myself, then my ctx, then my member, member object, which will be my discord.member. And next, uh, for the reason, like the reason can be multi-liner or maybe more than one word. So for that, we need to provide this asterisk to capture whole of the reason. So I'll just uh, say no reason provided. now the reason is like this now what we need to do is we'll create firstly an embed so i'm going to say my embed is equal to my discord dot embed my title is equal to member band and my description is equal to now i'll create one f string for this so f string is just formatting so what i'll do is i'll just say my member dot mention is band from my guild name so i'm going to say ctx dot guild dot name by the user who banned him so i'm going to say my ctx dot author dot mention so yeah that's that's uh, what we require to do next we'll just pass one color so i'm going to say my color is equal to discord dot color dot random so this will provide a random color each time we run this command. Nextly, uh, we'll just uh, add one timestamp so that we can know when the person was, you know, banned or something. So I'm going to set my timestamp uh, like we need to import date time. So I've imported date time. You can do the same. And I'll just say date time dot date time dot UTC now. And make sure to provide the parentheses now what we need to do is we'll just create one try accept statement and in the try accept statement i'll just say await my member dot ban and i'll just provide my reason is equal to reason and next i can just say await my ctx dot send my embed is equal to embed now we can do one more thing we can just provide the reason in my embed as well so i can just leave one line in my description and i'll just say reason is equal to my reason so the reason is the parameter which is no reason provided by default we can change it and next we can just provide the accept so what the exception could be exception could be if the bot is not able to ban the user so we can just say await ctx.send I'll uh, we can just send the embed like this as well we can just say discord.embed and I'll just pass my title is equal to missing permissions provide the description as so I'll just say the bot doesn't have the required permission to ban members and then I'll just uh, maybe we can provide the color as well and I'll just provide the color as red so I'll just say color is equal to discord dot color dot red 
and make sure to provide the parentheses so it's basically the hex decimal is this now the command is done so now the kick command is exactly similar to this band command we just need to change a bit of stuff so uh, i can just copy this and i can paste it right over now what do we need to change is i'll just change the aliases to k the command name to kick and uh, the permission required will be kick members and it will be reason the member is kicked member dot mention is kicked from ctx digital dot name by ctx dot author dot mention reason is the reason all of it is exactly same we need to kick the member this time and we'll just send the embed and we'll say missing permission the bot doesn't have the required permission to kick member okay so our kick command is done as well now for the unban command unban command will be a bit different what we will be doing is we cannot get the member this time basically the person who is kicked from the guild will not be the member of the server so what do we require to do is we'll have to send uh, we'll have to get the user so what is the difference between a user and member so basically a user is any person using discord and a member is a person who is a user on discord and is a part of a guild so what we can do is we'll just get the member so i'm gonna say my user is equal to i'll just change the aliases to uv which is which stands for unban i'll, I'll just say await myself dot bot dot fetch and i'll fetch a user so i'll have to provide the user id so my user id will be now this time what we'll be doing is we'll just remove the reason first of all we need to make sure of that and instead of member we'll pass the member id so we'll get the member id and then we'll unban so uh, i'll just provide my member id here so I've got my user and I can just say my user dot name and uh, is unbanned from ctx dot guild dot name by ctx dot also dot mentioned reason we can remove the reason because we don't need it anymore and for unbanning the user what we can say is we can just say my ctx dot guild dot unban and I'll pass my user so this is my user which I just uh, fetched and I'll just unban the user and uh, what the error could be the error could be the user is not found so in that case what we can do is we can just say uh, we can provide an another exception which would be first of all we need to return after this so I'll just say return so we'll just send the embed member unbanned and everything is all right and we can just say discord not found so this could be the exception now in this exception we'll just send another embed which will be something like which will be embed is equal to my discord dot embed my title would be member not found so that is all we'll just send this you can provide a description if you want and i'll just set the color as a discord.color.red and uh, after this we'll just return and we'll create an else statement and in the else statement we'll just say await ctx.send discord.embed missing permission the bot doesn't have the required permission to unban member okay so that's all let's test it out so i'll just uh, ban a bot which is rhythm the rhythm bot is banned from the guild and as you can see rhythm bot is banned from saki which is the name of the server by code stacks reason no reason provided and we have got the timestamp as well and the member is banned now i need to unban this so i can just copy the id of uh, the you know bot and i'll just say unban and it says member unbanned rhythm is unbanned from saki by code stacks and this works now i can just uh, try kicking someone out so what i can do is i can just uh, kick a person so i'll just uh, kick this drift asimov 
and basically it cannot uh, kick diff tasimo since uh, he is the owner of the server so i invited on bot and now what i can do is i can just say kick call bot and call bot is kicked from saki by code stacks no reason provided so all of these functions are working well now what we can do is we can just create the clear command so clear command is pretty straightforward what you can do is we can just say commands dot command and we can just provide an aliases and aliases will be c which stands for clear and we can just provide one uh, has permissions and i'll just say administrator is equal to true so i'm just providing admin permissions it's according to yourself how do you want to use it so i'm going to say async dev clear so i'll just uh, pass myself then ctx then amount like the amount of chats we want to purge or delete so by default it will be two and it will be a uh, int so i'm just passing the type now what i'll do is i'll just say if my amount is less than one then i just want to uh, send one message in the ctx i'll just say await ctx dot send amount should be more than one so after this i'll just return and i'll just uh, start try accept and in this try accept i'll just say await dtx dot channel dot purge so i'll just pass the limit so i'll set the limit as amount plus one so why i'm doing amount plus one because uh the amount of chats we want to purge let's say i want to purge two number of uh, chats then it will delete three messages out of which one message will be the message we are sending to you know delete the chat so that's why i'm adding one for the for the chat we are sending so uh that is it and in the else statement i'll just say that the bot is missing the permissions so i'll just copy it paste it right here and i'll say missing permission the bot doesn't ask the required permission to clear chats now let's try testing it out okay so so it was to be accept i by mistakenly wrote else so let's try running it again and the board is running now let's purge some chats so i'm gonna say clear uh, let's say i want to clear 10 messages then i deleted 10 messages and as you can say it works pretty well okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it just like if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video